How's it going? This is Dan with Timber Dog Camping and Backpacking Gear Reviews. This is my first video and I'm kind of canvassing around to see what kind of backdrops I want to use for the uh, local stuff. And of course we're obviously going to go to the field and go do some camping and backpacking and hiking and do some different things. This is uh, Harry Griffith Regional Park in Grossmont, right off of the 8, next to El Cajon in San Diego, California. Sunny, warm San Diego, California. And right back over here, there's a dog park that I normally bring my dogs to. And it's the back end of the Regional Park, which is full of picnic areas, cabanas, playground area over there. Surrounded by lush trees, everything's nice and green. And as you can see, it's uh, nice to be uh, nice to be out here. I had planned on having my birthday out this location, and uh, things got busy. Things kind of fell through, so we didn't do that. This place has got plenty of trails and plenty of things to do. Lots of wide open spaces. A lot of the girls come out here for cheerleading practice, field hockey. And on the weekends, this place is usually pretty well packed. There's a lot of off-road trails out here, foot trails, running trails. Um, the whole park is open to lease dogs. And like I said, the park back there is off-lease inside the fenced area. And where we're going right now is we're going to go down a little walking trail. Kind of show you what all is going on. And give you a description of what my long-term plan is. So like I said, uh, my name is Dan. This is going to be some videos for timber dog, backpacking and camping equipment. Remember I'm going to take you to the field with me on some of my camping trips and show you some of the stuff I've got and a little bit of my uh, experience. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and do some editing now and then we'll catch back up in a moment. Okay, yeah, we're heading into a uh, more remote, uh, a little less traveled trail, a little bit more terrain. A little bit more vegetation, a little bit more chance to run into Jake the snake. Uh, probably not this time of year, but here come April, a couple more months. They'll be out and all you'll see them is uh, out doing a wild thing. Uh, they're pretty uh, popular in April, and contact is likely. Uh, lots of sagebrush, um, natural environment, a little bit rocky. And, um, Lots of uh, pedestrian traffic here on the uh, trails also. As you can see we got some young ladies coming down the trail now. And uh, so yeah, it's a pretty well traveled area. And uh, I come here often and uh, do little walks and workouts with the dogs. And uh, there's not any overnight camping here, unfortunately. Um, there's very few remaining uh, good quality, inexpensive overnight camping spots left in the uh, urban areas of San Diego. But if you go out to East County, uh, there's a few places left that are reasonable, uh, but usually very crowded. Now, of course, if you go to the desert, um, and you stay away from the off-road portion and you stay to the park in the Borrego, um, it's very unlikely that you'll see another human being out there, especially in the summertime, where the temperatures can reach as much as 130 degrees. And if you're out there for more than 72 hours, it's a very good chance you'll feel the earth move. We've had lots of earthquake activity out here lately. Um, back in, gosh, I guess it was, uh, was it Easter? We had an earthquake that was felt all throughout the southwest United States and shook water out of pools in Phoenix. So anyway, there's a little cabana up there. Like I said, you're getting a good look at the territory. A little bit of flat land here, which would be good for tent camping if uh, it were allowed. And uh, over in that area, back over there, there is an amphitheater. It's pretty sizable. I think it'll probably seat about 150 people, actually. And I know that they've had uh, community-organized uh, 
uh, events uh, where bands will come down. I'll have like Battle of the Bands and things like that. So again, uh, Dan, uh, Timber Dog Camping, and uh, just kind of getting you familiar with a little bit of the uh, terrain, some of the things that I'll be doing, and uh, kind of getting you the feel for being outdoorsy and getting ready for that time of year. Most of the people who are going to see this video are still have snow on and grinding like, hell no, I ain't going outside. But uh, it won't stay, it'll melt. And then uh, you can come to places like this and uh, get familiar with the outdoors again. You know, get away from the laptop, the Game Boy, the Xbox, the uh, boob tube, get off the couch, turn off the damn news, and uh, go out and kind of get a breath of fresh air for a day or a night. Um, I'll be going to several locations throughout San Diego County and showing you the area, kind of doing the old tourist trap thing. And we'll be doing gear reviews. I'll show you backpacking gear, day packing gear, tents, sleeping bags, military gear, all kinds of cool stuff. So I hope you'll tune in. And I look forward to putting the videos together. I look forward to you uh, putting some uh, good comments and promoting the videos on the site. Okay, we're gonna finish up this video and take our little trail back up to the uh, top and give you a little bit different perspective. I was walking into the sun before, so uh, not as much appreciation for the terrain and the color. But when I'm walking away from the sun, everything I'll be filming is gonna be brightly lit and you'll get a better appreciation. A little bit better video quality, I believe. And uh, I'm actually filming this with a Kodak Easy Sear 70 C74, I believe. And uh, I purchased this digital still photography camera about four years ago. And it's a 7.1 megapixel, and I've been able to do some really outstanding photography with this thing. Um, some really good high resolution stuff. Um, and I can manipulate it in different uh, programs with the computer like Photoshop and uh, Picasso and render it in such a way that it almost looks high definition or HDR uh, high resolution um, with some uh, really good effects with just very minimal work because the quality is already in the photography and I've been doing a little bit of filming with this but this is the first time I've ever actually endured to you know, um, get down and get dirty with real filming and get kind of familiar with how the whole process works. I published a couple videos in the past on YouTube and I've had some success with them. And I uh, did some photo editing last night with a couple videos I had in stock and added music and had a uh, really good product come out at the end. So I've been tinkering around with the idea of what to do to help consume time and, and better utilize my spare time being a retired Marine. And this is one of my things I've always enjoyed doing, photography and videography. And I've got enough people that I can use for resources to uh, kind of help me do that. So I'm going to go ahead and go for it. See where it goes. Have fun with it. Um, I've already started running to a little bit of difficulty with going to some of the public parks. Um, you try to do the right thing and you go to a public park or county park and say, hey, I want to do, uh, you know, if I could use a campsite for about an hour, uh, I'll be doing some filming and uh, putting up some videos. And as soon as you say that, you have to get an act of Congress and fill out all kinds of paperwork, disclaimers liability responsibility and everything else and it's just ridiculous so I'm gonna be looking for some more rural um, common use areas um, to be doing some filming to avoid some of the legal melodrama that goes on unnecessarily and uh, certainly um, if I'm paying more money than I'm ever gonna make doing this then it's not gonna be cost-effective to you know, entertain you guys even though I enjoy doing that and it uh, it's fulfills my heart that you guys enjoy the videos um, but at $24 a day to make a video that's not very cost-effective <laughs> so having said that the uh, again the purpose of this is just to uh, kind of take you out in San Diego I know a lot of people from here have 
maybe only visited and seen the tourist areas. But I've been here since 1992, right after Desert Storm, and I'm pretty familiar with the area. And I look forward to showing you my home and some of the places I go, some of the places I take the dogs, you know, the beaches and different places, getting, getting you familiar with it. And if I educate you along the way and teach you some stuff about the military, some stuff about camping, hiking, and backpacking, even better. I look forward to doing that. So that will conclude this video for now. It's kind of a throw together. Um, I apologize for the quality and uh, impromptuness of it, but sometimes that's what makes the best content. I'll be putting this up uh, with information on how to get in touch with me on my Facebook, on my Yahoo. My uh, Facebook is just my name, Daniel, last name spelled P-O-R-C-U-P-I-L-E, pronounced Porcupile. My uh, Yahoo is Dan HKD25, which is the uh, acronym for Hunter Killer Delta 25, which is my call sign in the Marine Corps. And my email address is D A N P O R C U at CTS.com. So for now, that'll be all. And I'll put some more videos together and get them published. I hope to do at least one or two a week. Uh, based on uh, input and comment and response, maybe we'll do more. So, love you. Peace out.